average skillet listener. <laughs> this guy's really excited about the new Skrillex album coming out. No, 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 I have these two mustaches, and there's no label on them. I think I just made the villain from Meet the Robinsons. Oh, there we go. Oh, sh**. Oh, that's f perfect. <laughs> I have a perfect name for him. Uh, body. Muscular. Huge. As large as we can make him. What a man. What a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. And now I need an evil scar for him. Just to separate him from the rest, you know? He needs something. He needs something. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the evil. Where's the evil eye scar at? Give me that evil. You know what? Give me that. Give me, give me that evil eye scar. Give me that one too. But make that one a little bit quieter. You know, make that one an old one. This man... He is no Rotten Tomato. This man certified fresh. Why he's so... Anyway, the name for this man... The Bastard. This is the Bastard's life. Holy shit. Oh my god. What is this hat we got? This is so sad. We need a big tuxedo for him now. Uh, he has no weapons. Is there anything with which the f the hardware store can offer us? At level one, we need a weapon. If we're gonna survive in this wild and harsh wasteland, we need some kind of weapon. Oh shit. Roaches. Got him. Ah, uh, meat. This will suffice. We're coming up- I started from the bottom, and now we're here. We're starting from the bottom, and now we're here. Eat raunch. This guy's gonna die in five minutes. No, he's not! <laughs> what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. <laughs> oh my god, that was tragic. Bless the bastard. Oh my god. That was so fucking sad. Holy shit, the bastard. Well, I have all these mines. That'll be worth something, right? People love mines. What a sad life for the bastard, eh? What a sad fucking life, eh? He's got whiskey. That roach is crawling up the stairs. Fight him, bastard. You have to sneak and be stealthy. This is the will of the world, bastard. God, I picked a hardware store, and the hardware store has no weapons. I ain't even be able to pick up a plunger and be, be like goofus on people. Brendan, did you intentionally make him a himbo for moments like that? No, he's not a himbo, teehee. He's incredibly smart, look at him. The bastard is in for a rude fucking awakening here. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this hardware store, aren't we? Fuck, not again! Brendan, his ears are going through his hat. No, they're not. Shut up. <laughs> are they? Are they actually? Are his ears going through his hat? Oh, they are. I thought those were buttons. He's fine. Don't worry about it. You're worrying too hard about the bastard. The ba Do not worry for the bastard, because the bastard does not worry for you. Okay? My only friend, a bundle of bloat fly meat? Jesus. I live at a gas station. Where do you sleep? I sleep in a race car bed. I sleep in a gas station. I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Oh, shit. That's a lot of dead me. Whoops. Well, I know better. The bastard's arch enemy is a landmine. You're not fucking wrong. I'm mad about it. All right, let's go sleep for one hour so I can save here. Or is that coward shit? I'm voting on that being coward shit. I gotta find a... I gotta find a... Mm, I gotta find a stove. Nope. I already said it. It's coward shit. Coward shit. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Gotta find a stove. Gotta find me a bastard wife. Is, are you evil? Gotta find me bastard wife so that the bastard can have somebody to make him delicious meals. Exactly what he fucking wants. I gotta find me a workshop, to be honest. Which, I know, probably Red Rocket, that might be the easiest one to get to from here. That might just be the easiest one in general, honestly. So maybe I should make my way there. Do I even have a map? I do, okay. Uh, Red Rocket is gonna be, what, up here? Because there's Sanctuary, so Red Rocket, we want to get here. We want to get to Red Rocket. That's our destiny. I think we're near Dance. Ugly bastard looking for trad wife. Ugly bastard looking for yummy life. The bastard is looking for a delicious meal. I just want somebody to I just want somebody to cook me a meal. How fucking... How... How fucking hurtful. 
I just want somebody to make me a nice home-cooked meal. Boosh! I need a mod that changes my character into Poe from Kung Fu Panda. That way, every time there's an explosion, he yells, Skidoosh! Oh shit, Skidoosh! Jealous? I have two stim packs. You thought this was a one stim pack household. You're a fool. Oh fuck, mine? Not again? Ooh. Take this, you son of a bitch. Don't fuck with the bastard. No, I died again. Fuck. I'm just gonna let them have their scrap. I'm gonna just try to get to the red rocket. They can have their scrap. It's all theirs. I'm done fighting. I'm not, I don't wanna fight. I don't know why you wanna fight me. I'm not trying to hurt you. I don't know you. And yet it happens again. Look at how sad he is. Every fucking death is another miserable pile of flesh. Jesus Christ, I'm getting bozoed. I don't wanna be a bozo. I don't wanna be a clown. I don't wanna go to clown college, mom. Stop it. Honey, Brendan, you got this scholarship to clown college. $400,000 pays for four years of school? Brendan, you gotta do it. Mom, all they teach you is how to set the seltzer water traps up, mom. I don't wanna learn that. I want to be a funny man, Mom. I want to be a funny man. I don't want to be a clown. Does the does the bastard remember every life? He knows all. Well, he presumes to know all. I'm not going to say that he knows all for sure, but he presumes that he knows all. Uh, that's good enough for him. It's good enough for me. I'm going to go to Red Rocket. I'm going to get Sim Settlement started, and then I'm going to grow so much stinky Fallout weed. I couldn't find a good drug mod for Fallout, so I couldn't, like, download anything for cocaine. There are way funnier mods for Fallout 3, I swear to God. Literally couldn't find a weed mod I liked. There's no bong. Wild to me that Fallout 4 modding is, is in such a, like, sad state. No bong, no weed, no cocaine. Can't even do yayo. Can't even do flake. No bong, no weed, no cocaine, no balls. Oh boy, Lexington, I gotta get the fuck out of here. There be ghouls in this some bitch. Wait, who fire at me? Don't do that. Okay, I think they're fighting ghouls. Cool. I'm gonna just ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Oh fuck. Uh, what's he got on him? Thank you. He got a clean toaster. What am I gonna do with that? Oh God, fuck off. I'm just trying to get to the red rocket. I want to start my life. Who the fuck shot me? Please, I just want to get my life started. Please don't shoot at me. All I want to do is start my fucking life. Are the ghouls still chasing me? Maybe? No? Okay, cool. All you had to do was go to the gas station. This is Sunset Drive-In. This has a workshop, but I don't want this one. I want the Red Rocket. That's where I make my fucking home. I want to live at a gas station. I want to be one of those guys. You know, one of those guys who, like repurposes a normal store into a home like this used to be a bank this used to be a credit union but now it's a two bath two bedroom this used to be a grain silo but now it's a two bath two bedroom this used to be a ripley's believe it or not museum but now it's a two bath two bedroom what do i get to raise a, a suckling pig is there a good farming mod for fallout 4 one wherein i personally i could raise many a suckling pig. God, what if there was a Fallout 4 mod that let you do like hog competitions? Like Fallout 4, the Iowa State Fair. That's what I want. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Oh, sweet red rocket hole. Iowa would be so pristine because there's nothing worth bombing there. Not completely true. As an Iowan, I will say this one thing that Iowa has, um, then that's being close to a major city. Not even an Iowan city. I'm talking about Nebraska. I, no, I mean, like, if, if the bombs fell for real, for real, I'm sure that Iowa would get some of the blowback. Not that Iowa would get hit directly, but I'm, I'm sure that Iowa would get some of the blowback. I mean, it's not like people would directly go for Iowa, but it's likely that we're just going to get hit. You know, all that funny radiation. Oh god, I forgot ammo is weighted in survival mode. Blech. Only carry what you need. You don't gotta carry everything. Alright, I'm gonna cover up his beautiful visage. I'm so sorry, chat. So fucking sorry. Now I look like a generic wasteland bastard instead of the bastard. So fucking sad. Worst day of my fucking life, I swear to god. Alaska's gotta be the safest state when the nuclear war starts. No. 
Alaska's Alaska would be a weird buffer zone. I mean, I guess it depends on where the war started. But I mean, if you go by Fallout rules, Alaska was one of the first places to get like fucked over, right? Because of the war. You ever play, uh, what is it, Operation Anchorage? That shit was fucked up. The irony, they won an award for throwing away trash. And yet all their trash was hidden here. Anyway, you should get the mod that gives the Deathclaw big tits. See, I tried to download a couple of funny mods uh, that were like kind of like half porn mods and they corrupted my game file twice. They were going to be bit like I was going to have a character with big, huge honking titties and they were going to just like bap around. Uh, but then my game got fully corrupted twice and I said, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'll play this shit like your, like your fucking dad would. I'm putting like dad mods in. Like a desert eagle. I tried to download the booby mods so that I could like set it up properly and I corrupted my shit. I tried for you, chat. I tried. You got any grilling mods? No, sadly. I might be able to make a grill if I invest in Sim Settlements too. I may be able to grill. Why is that here? I can't use the... <laughs> I've got balls... I've got balls of steel. <laughs> I ain't got that ammo. That's 135. That shit's going in the box. You should make the bastard four foot tall with commands. No, I'm not making him short. He already has such a sad fucking life. He doesn't need to be short on top of it, ghoul. He already has such a sad fucking life. He has to eat and drink water to live. You know how fucking terrible that is for a man like the bastard? That shit sucks. Man, I love adding weapon mods because sometimes they just add ridiculous shit. You should make the bastard eight feet tall with commands so all melee attacks hit him. His wide sweeping girth will be able to stop any enemy. We need the bastard to be wide and girthy. Why, if there's a height command, why isn't there a girth command? I know that's a mod, ha 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 ha, that's a mod, Brendan. No, 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 I'm talking about, like, why can't I make him wider with commands if I can make him taller with commands? What mods do I have installed? Gun mods. The point lookout mod. And dirt. Oh, sim settlements as well. I want to fuck around with sim settlements a little bit. It do be, be like that, be it do be, you know? It do be as be like that. I do want to fuck around with sim settlements a little bit. Anyway, where's my gas station at? Gotta head back to the gas station very slowly, like. Sim, Sim Settlements is a really weird mod. It always is. Sim Settlements 1 was weird. I assume that 2 is also fucking weird. Where, like, half the shit doesn't work. Yeah, we're walking like an E3 trailer for a moment here. This is the fun part of survival. This is the fun part. Welcome to the world of Fallout 4. As you can see, it's incredibly immersive. The world is at your fingertips. And your destiny calls to you. We're near... Oh, fuck you. We're near Concord. A small town. Lost to time in the wasteland itself. And there may be a secret dwelling beneath the crusty surface. Sixteen times the detail. And our largest world map to date. We here at Bethesda are excited for you to experience the joy. The wonder. The mirth. And dare I say girth. A Fallout 4. Patrolling the Commonwealth almost makes you wish for a nuclear wonger. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Watching YouTubers play Hotline Miami makes me irrationally angry because they play it so fucking slow. All right. Think about it this way. A lot of YouTubers trying to play games like Hotline Mimi or any, any, any action-based game their attention is literally split. Like, people get mad sometimes about YouTubers and gamers playing video games on stream or on Let's Plays or whatever. But, like, your attention is split. It's like, if I streamed Hotline Miami, I'd be shit at it. But that's because I'd be, like, making jokes and trying to, like, be jovial, have an upbeat attitude. But if I, like, played it in silence, I would play and then beat the game like a normal gamer. You, you always have to... Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. You always have to... Um, whew. you always have to take into account the like, what is it? The, 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 basically the gameplay to commentary ratio. There is a gameplay to commentary ratio and you always have to take into account how well a person is at balancing that ratio. Like I'm shit at it. I just like to talk and say fucked up things. 
Like, what if a clown had shoes with teeth and the teeth opened up and inside was a small clown like a xenomorph in both feet? It's like when, um, watching Let's Plays, like, remember, like, Super Best Friends play and they miss something and you read the comments and it'd be like, How did they miss this? How did they miss this bit? How did they not see that? And it's like, because their attention is split. That's that's something you really have to think about when taking into account somebody's like gameplay or playthrough. You're at, their attention is split. Some people are way better at managing the gameplay to commentary ratio. I'm like 70% commentary, 30% gameplay. That's why there are ultra gamer streamers. And if you go and watch an ultra gamer stream where the person is really good at the video game, nine times out of 10, they're fucking quiet as shit. They're fucking... No, 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 no. And all you're hearing is like, and at that point, why even watch them? I mean, if you already played the game, but also like, I get it. Some people want to watch somebody who's very, very skilled at a game. There are really only two kinds of streamers uh, who play video games. It's you're either focused on the commentary and you're just here to have a good time and larf. Uh, or you're hyper fucking gamer. You're Chad McCool. You've had sex with everybody at the mall, and everybody thinks you're awesome for being able to beat Metal Gear Rise, uh, rising like 15 times on the hardest difficulty or whatever. You play Ultra Kill, and you doesn't afraid of anything. Like, and then, like that's the bit, right? That's kind of the 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 types of gamer they got going on there. So I I always believe that you have to firmly take it into account. Uh, what kind of gamer you are watching. But also, I mean, hey, like, if you're gonna be a dick, just be a dick if you want to be a dick. Like, that's your prerogative. Now, I don't mean, I'm not saying that somebody in chat is a dick, but if you want to be, like, a dick to somebody who's like, hey, I'm playing this video game and having a lot of fun. I don't know if I should be, 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 be like a poop face and fucking yell at them, call them stupid. Say they smell bad. That totally fucking owns them. I know I shouldn't get angry, but it's probably because I really love Hotline Miami and, a, and I'm a self-proclaimed expert at the game. Yeah, just don't get mad then. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it, it, like I said, it's it's all about the gameplay to commentary ratio. And if that person is 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 not doing well at the game, like, oh well. How does it? It doesn't make your day worse. Why is there a man? Hello? Am I dreaming? This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. What do you mean Fallout 4 script extender isn't running? It literally is. This is the, why, what did I do? What do you mean Fallout 4 script extender isn't running? I started it from the Fallout 4 script extender. Is he a sim settlement guy? What? There we go, that's why. What do you have for for some reason, Vortex didn't fucking load the mod properly, cool. Uh, what do you have for sale? I'm very thirsty. I'm very thirsty. Do you have water? You have dirty water, you don't have normal water. I'm gonna buy all your dirty water. That's all my money, bud. I hope that's worth it, Mac. Can't believe I'm buying this much dirty water from him. Thanks, Mac. Hi. Hey, Mac. Hey, do you wanna move into my gas station with me? Thanks, Mac, appreciate you, bud. Gotta get me some materials. Gotta make me a settler beacon and start getting people to do my bidding for me. You will do my bidding. You will raise a town. You will save a horse and ride a cowboy. These are all my commandments. You will follow them. So saith the bastard. Vortex sucks. Use MO2. No, because I'm not doing anything fucking hard. And also Vortex is fine. Vortex is fine. I'm not doing anything really intense. Mod Organizer 2 is fine too. Stop being fucking elitists. Um, you know what? If you, if you keep being elitist about this, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uninstall all my mods and download them th from Bethesda net. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to boot up Fallout 4 on my Xbox One X and then mod that version of the game instead. Cry more. I dare you. Cry more. Brendan, you're killing me. Good. Nah, no, Vortex is fine most of the time. Unless you're doing mods that require a little bit more work. Vortex has loot pre-installed, so. Vortex was really shit, though. When it first launched... When when Vortex like first launched, it was dog shit. Nexus mod manager like the what is it next NNM NMM two was fine, and then they launched Vortex and it was shit. Vortex is fine, but there are other options. Yeah, but why would I use those other options? Why all the mods I have are simple. It's either guns or it adds a location to the map. What is what does MO two offer me? There's just there's just Vortex with loot installed. Like easy peasy does it. There's no point in parcel. What guns did I add? A bunch of stupid ones. No, I mean like the service rifle, the M1 Grand, Desert Eagle. I added like 15 guns, I think, around there. Oh, I'm not strong enough for that. 
I'm not big enough. I'm not a big enough boy for that. No dinner for me, thanks. I'm full. Dinner for me, thanks. I'm hungry. You are properly fed. Good. I'm fucking starved. I'm fucking thirsty. You feel better, but you're still parched. How much water you want me to drink? Jesus Christ. I don't even drink this much water in the real. Maybe I should be drinking more water. Jeez. I drink like 80 ounces minimum a day. Is that not enough? Am I not drinking enough water? Do I need more huiwa? Am I not drinking enough water? Chat, be honest with me. Also, yeah, I was looking at Fallout 4 mod. Crash? Already? So soon? Nope. I was looking at Fallout 4 mods, and I was asking for mods for the last couple weeks. Fucking nothing. Fallout 4 is so fucking weak. There are all these, like, grand mods being developed for Fallout 4, and what's, like, out is fucking weak. Half, like... 70% of the shit for Fallout 4 are fucking porn mods. And that's it. The rest are weapons and then quests. There's like three overhauls and they all suck. Am I being assaulted? Does somebody want to fire upon me? Come on, I dare you. Come fight me. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? You fighting dogs, buddy? I fight a dog or two. Are you out here fighting mongrels? Well, don't you worry. I'm here to help. Hi. My name is Bryn Daniel. I run a famous dog removal service. Do you have 30 to 50 feral dogs squealing and hollering and barking in your yard? Well, call me at 555-DOG-REMOVAL. And don't worry, what I do is very human. Oh shit, oh shit, I saw that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he didn't even need to throw a Molotov cocktail at me. He could have just thrown like a, a, like a slippery banana peel and I would have fallen over my ass. Whoops. All right, am I still thirsty? Do I have all that, uh... Nope, lost all that purified water. Uh, restarted me before I found Mac's bar, so hopefully his bar is still there. Hey, Mac! Your bar is still here? Oh, shit, trash can Carla! You got water, Carla? You made my day a little bit better, Carla. Not gonna lie. Guess who can finally get a source of clean water? This fucking guy! Who has two thumbs and an abundant source of clean water? This fucking guy! She has concrete. Now I just gotta live on my way back to my house. Carla really has it. Canned bread. Ah. Uh, what are you, FOV in a Bethesda game? What are you, stupid? That's like oil and water. How can you play a Bethesda game when your weapon isn't taking up one, like, fourth or to one third of your screen? Dad got the pump working again. Showers are back on the menu, everybody. Showers are back on the menu. How come no one made a mod that makes you big and round if you drink too much water? Uh, there is a mod you can get that makes you nice and big and round. There is, in fact, a Fallout nice and big and round mod. I know, as I was looking up every freak mod that I could put into the game. There is a Vor mod. There is a, there is a nice and big and round mod. Trust me. And you didn't install it? No. No. I'm not installing the nice and big and round mod on Fallout. I'm not <laughs> not in trouble I'd get. Twitch would be like, hey, can you stop posting fetish content? Anyway, you should uh, all watch this balloon popping stream, this uh, hot tub balloon popping stream instead. This guy's banned. Did I install the Macho Man Randy Savage Deathclaw mod? No. Oh, Jesus, immediately. Hello, stranger. Hi. You were literally, you appeared out of nowhere. Built a plot. Now what do I do? What do you mean place it? You mean drop it? God, I want your cl Give me your suit. I hope it makes a Minecraft dirt house. That'd be really funny. I would love it if it was a Minecraft dirt house. Oh my god, I can't believe I- I just realized I just made dick dastardly and I laugh like Muttley in real life. Settler roleplay! He's building! What's he gonna build? What kind of house is it gonna be? I hope he builds a funny house. But I hope not too funny, right? Yeah, I love that you're welding the air. Cool weld! Not gonna lie, dude. Pretty epic, honestly. I'm gonna be the mayor of many a city, and they'll never find out my true intention. <laughs> uh, this house sucks, dude. Maybe, uh, grow up? <laughs> Welcome to Bastardville. Population 4,475,001. We're finally doing it! God, I really did just make dick bastardly, didn't I? That's a cool house you built there. He has egg. What a cool home. He's gonna eat Deathclaw egg for dinner. What a little crazy guy. That is the saddest home I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree with you.
Wow, a fully built home. It fucking sucks, but free egg. This is way better than Sim Settlement 1. I like that it has a full tutorial teaching you what's happening. Is this a pyramid scheme? No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's what we call an inverted and squeezed hexagon. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's a funnel. We call it an upside down triangle scheme. Sorry, scheme. I'm mean, scheme, not a scheme. It's not a scheme. Oh, uh, he's going to make me go and talk to the fucking nerds. You're going to make me go talk to the nerds in Concord, aren't you? All right, well, he's helping me at least. That'll be nice. It'll be good to have a... Oh, flies. What would you do with a lifetime supply of cram? I make a lot of cram sandwiches, duh. A huge amount of fat cram sandwiches. Hello, bozos. Hello, Paul Revere. Hello, Redcoats. Whoa, hey, don't curse. If my name was Christian, I'd be able to say this is a Christian stream. It's not, but if it was, Brendan, how did it take you two hours, nearly two hours to get to the Minutemen? It's survival, so I had to walk all the way to the Red Rocket gas station in Concord, and then I had to walk and do a bunch of stuff at the Red Rocket to, like, not die. God, I love it when a mod adds a new ammo type, and then it makes every bit of ammo scarcer. It's really cool, actually. My favorite thing mods do be like hey we're gonna add like 50 different ammo types to your fucking game hope you like it dork adding a new ammo type to the stream chat for you little scroungers and scavengers everybody you're gonna be able to put 30 30 aught ammo 30 aught buckshot into your mouth at all times not like not like in a, in a fucked up way though but like in a cool way like you get to like eat it like a snack it's got i'm got a new idea candy gun with gummy bullets new idea candy gun with gummy bullets i'm not i'm not 30 out six ammo not real it's gummy it's a it's a shot of flavor it's a powerful explosion of flavor and love with every bullet uh gummy bullet oh sweet robco fun i love playing games on my fucking pipped boy Pretty cool, not going to lie. All right, let's fucking, let's get up in there. Let's fuck shit up. Hope I don't die. Yippee, yippee ho, yippee, yippee ho. How about a candy knife? How about a candy stabbing? A candy knife for my candy wife. Brennan, have you tried those Black Forest gummy bears with a bit of juice inside? They're very flavorful. Y yes, they're very human. But I'm like afraid of gummy bears. I had a nightmarish experience with the Haribo sugar-free gummy bears a while back. Uh, understandably so. Um, and to this day, they still intimidate and scare me. How? Well, for a while, and I, I, I don't know if this is still true, um, but for a while, eating the Haribo gummy bears, uh, would, it, it was like a, a, a cleanser, um, is the best way I can put it. It would, uh, it would clear you out. It was, uh, it was like a pipe cleaner, but for your ass. All right, we gotta fucking... We got, I got what I gotta I gotta do the I gotta do I gotta do the bad boy thing one second let me uh let me be really smart here proc the death claw there it is run welcome to the world of Fallout 4 this is what we call a vertical slice break his legs oh god him oh god the fucking fear I was I was genuinely afraid there I do not like fighting the de death claw. Raiders, whatever. Whatever, dude. Raiders, whatever, dude. Not my pig, not my farm, not my fucking problem. That Deathclaw, though? Service rifle, it scares me. Mothman N80. Why do these guys got such cool guns already? It should be on the leveled list, but you know what? I'll fucking take it. I love Fallout New Vegas. I love Fallout New Vegas. I love Fallout New Vegas. What's this Mothman gun I got? Oh, there we go. That's a good pistol. I like how that looks. I like how that looks. Do you like the sight of your own blood? Oh, is there an enemy in here? What's up, dude? Do you like the sight of your own? Do you like the sight of your own blood? Please, Preston. Please let me get my drugs. Please, Preston. Please let me get my drugs. No, Mama Murphy. Stop it. Please, Preston. I need my drugs. All right. Anyway, uh, ignored, blocked ratio. Don't care. Uh, where's the uh, where's the one guy at? Um. Laying foundations. There we go. We gotta go talk to the stranger. How far do you tend to get into the story on a modded playthrough like this? I stop caring after Kellogg usually. Yeah, about there. I usually almost never get to Sean. I get to Kellogg and the brain, the cyberpunk brain scan, and then I'm like, all right, I'm bored. There he goes. <laughs> wow, cool guy. Cool guy. Not gonna like cool guy. This man is like a flim flam man. You're a flim flam man. I don't trust you. I just, I just don't, inherently don't trust this man. 
He has flim flam energy. Look at him. Look at his flim flam energy. A fine plot of land ready for cultivation. I hope it's like a weird cave. What if he builds like a crystal mine from a licensed PS2 video game? Wouldn't that be neat? I had a Taco Bell ad and now I want Taco Bell. That does sound good. Get yourself a big quesadilla. I want the big steak fry box back. Or sorry, not the steak fry. I want the big steak uh, nacho box back. What is Taco Bell going to give me the steak nacho box again? I'm fucking waiting. Fun Brent Daniel fact, 174, he gets free beans at Taco Bell. Not even true. My uncle works at Taco Bell and I don't get free beans. This is fucking... They, they, that's a lie. This is, That's a false... That's a false... That's, that's false. My uncle is a manager at Taco Bell and I get no free beans. That shit a family business and I ain't get no beans. This is so sad. What about a toilet? Where do they poop? Stranger, where do they poop? I gotta know. I gotta know. Where do they poop at? I gotta know. We gotta we gotta trick this guy. I gotta be a flim flam man now. I'm a flim flam man now. Old Paul, you can live here. Old Paul, you should live here with me. New husband unlocked. Me and old Paul, we're married now. What if Paul calls his friend Monkey Paul? And it's the Paul from that, uh, when you watch a cartoon, and at the end of the cartoon, it has the little, Hi, I'm Paul, monkey. Oh, God, there's five people. Where'd they come from? Who are you people? All right, what kind of houses did they build up here, by the way? I want to see. Oh, cool pod. Oh, they br Oh, look at this awesome pod. That's a bitchin' pod, not gonna lie. That's definitely a bitchin' pod. Y'all got some bitchin' pods out here, not gonna lie. We love to live in the pod. Live by the pod, die by the pod. It's a hard pod life for us. It's a hard pod life for us. Everybody's gonna live in a pod. Everybody's gonna love in a pod. It's a hard pod life for us. Mm, getting water out the ground right near the gas pumps. That's just how we like it. All right, more pods. I need another, I need another pod. I'm making my own little rapture. Oh, look at all these pod homes. I like it. Not just a trailer park, mind you. A trailer park in the sky. Think about it. Think about it, huh? A trailer park. But not simply any old trailer park. A trailer park in the sky. I wish there was like... I wish I had a tornado mod. So I could fucking twister everybody into the sky. What if you went up to Columbia and Bioshock Infinite and it wasn't like it was? It was just a trailer park. Oh, y'all keep these trailers up. Fucking quantum particles, bud! Get her done! And then they're fucking... <laughs> Found out last night that Larry the Cable Guy actually isn't Southern. He's not. He's like from New York, isn't he? No, he's from Wisconsin. Yeah, his Southern accent is fake. Yeah, he was just a guy. He just... He puts on an act. Larry is fake. He's a false prophet. <laughs> Look upon the hand of the false prophet! He says he's Larry the Cable Guy, but he can't get a simple job done. <laughs> what if Bioshock Infinite, but the main character isn't Booker DeWitt, it's Larry the Cable Guy? AD on my hand, what does that mean? I'm the false prophet. I ain't know what that mean. Get her, get him. This man ain't never done dip in his life. Get her done. And he, who is the false prophet, will lead us to the white light. He's from Nebraska. Oh, Wisconsin, Nebraska, doesn't matter. You're going to have the same accent. Like, nobody in fucking... Everybody who does a southern accent, if they're born in the Midwest, is fucking faking it. We call them city cowboys. Even if you're a farmer in Iowa, you don't have a southern accent. You don't have a country drawl. We call them city cowboys. Everybody from the Midwest, if you're from the Midwest and, like, born and raised here, you don't fucking speak with a southern accent. You don't. You're either A, faking it because you saw it on the TV, B, you came from the South, which, like, fair, or C, I, once again, points back to A, you're a city cowboy. I mean, Midwestern accent is kind of, it's not, it's not completely there, but, like, I'm from Iowa, born and raised in Iowa, lived here for all 29 years of my life, and why are you still naked? So sad. Um, And honestly, like, I, I, I say a couple words weird. I, I like to say crick instead of creek. You know, I like to say, uh, uh, wash every once in a while as a little treat. Um, what else? Uh, I, I used to say nuclear instead of nuclear. 
Brendan, why is he naked? I don't know. He's wearing only a scarf. He chose to. I didn't take his clothes off. He did that. Let me, uh, hey, let me wash you a pillow down. I drawled you a picture of me washing a pillow down by the creek. That's some real Midwestern lingo. I washed you up. I drawled you a picture of me washing a pillow down by the creek. Do you understand what I am saying? I should fucking, I should have fucking slept in my jorts. Where's the mod where you can kiss Nick Valentine on the lips? Uh, the sex mod? I didn't download it. I didn't want to see full penetration. I wasn't feeling like clapping synth booty cheeks. Sex? I went to bed at uh, 10 p.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. and I've been up since. So you're getting 100% no filter Brendan today. I... <laughs> sex, boop, boop, sex, talk, sex, talk, sex, talk, sex, 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 sex. <laughs> I'm a villain. I'm so sorry. I had a migraine, so I went and I was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. And then I woke up at 10, had a light headache, took some ibuprofen, and then the, the like migraine high kicked in. And if you get frequent migraines, you know how it be when the migraine high kicks in. You're not sleeping. You're activated. Your brain is fucking fuming. It's like a defrag. It's like your hard disk just reset. You know what that shit be like. It be like it be do. Hey, do you guys like hit video game Undertale? What if I had a guest? Oh, sorry. One second. This isn't right. Give me one moment. <laughs> Sans gaming. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> God put me on this earth for one reason. To be as dumb as hell for as long as physically possible. God, I love finding random boxes of mac and cheese in the Commonwealth. It, honestly, it's the silliest fucking food in Fallout to just be out and about, right? Like, it's not fucking cooked. Were they selling pre-cooked fucking mac and cheese? Ah! In the cardboard box? I'm just eating the dry noodles. I'm not even making it. It fucks me up. I'm fucking choking on mac and cheese dust over here. I'm walking here. Have you seen the Walmart cheese? Have you not seen the Walmart cheese ball? Are you talking about the round meal? Because that's a fake thing. I had to find that out the hard way. I went to Walmart and was like, I'd like one round meal, please. And they said, sir, we don't sell that. Also, put some pants on, you fucking psycho. And I was, I was mighty chuffed. Not the good kind of chuffed either. The angry kind of chuffed. Chafed. They ain't sell no round meal. I had to find that out the hard way. I just wanted round meal. I wanted mac and sphere. Turns out they don't even sell the government cheese anymore. I can't even get it. My fucking rations, dude. No, it's a big ball of mac and cheese wrapped in cellophane, and it's like half a foot in diameter, as I recall. Yeah, that's a fake image. That's called a round. It has a picture on it. This says round meal. It's uh, from Obvious Plant. They make a bunch of fake products. That is unfortunately one of them. I'm so sorry. Uh, for you to find out this way, for you to learn this way, but, um, you know, sometimes you gotta learn. No, I saw it in store. You did not. There's no fucking way. They do not sell round meal real. You did not see it in store. You're imagining it. It's in your head. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. I'm so sorry. I'm in your head. There's not a round meal. I know because after, after I saw that, I looked it up to see if anybody sold it real because I wanted to buy one. Did not find it. I swear to God, round meal not real. I fucking wish it was. Why is this caravan donkey running alone? So sad. That's a cow. I don't know why I said donkey. Me when I fucking want to fight the fuck out of a windmill. Call me Donkey Ode. I'm not a vault dweller from the past. I was born in Muncie, Indiana. 28 years ago. I lied to this man. I really am the bastard. Nefarious attention, you say. <laughs> That's who I am. Oh, I'm the bastard. Oh, now what's wrong with old Paul? Oh, no. Old Paul has fallen victim to my poison attack. <laughs> I'm coming, old Paul. I'd like to think Brendan doesn't have a mixer and perfectly repeats noises on a whim. You know, for like two years, I did that. All right, well, I'm following old Paul, I guess. Uh, What hostage situation, old Paul? Where's it at? I'm just following you, old Paul. I'm just following you, old Paul. Just doing what you're doing. 
Uh, let's get a close am I to strong back. Let's upgrade Stromp. Come on, old Paul. Look at him fucking running. Look at him big fat boot stepping. God, I wish I had the cardio of old Paul in real. But Brennan, can you ad lib a Scooby Doo episode? Well, I sure am glad I've moved all the marshmallow fluff out of the old abandoned marshmallow fluff factory. Hooey, am I sure tired. Yeah. Oh no, a monster, a creature has appeared. I must vacate the premises post haste. Well, gang, looks like we got hired to take care of the old marshmallow factory. Seems there's a ghost around. Like, do we get to eat the marshmallows too? <laughs> yeah, marshmallows. No, you idiots. Let's split up and look for clues. Like, there was a monster in there. Ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Shaggy, you fucking idiot. That's not a monster. That's an old man. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. My fucking bones. I fell off my ladder and I've hurt myself. Like, I was totally afraid there for a moment. <laughs> Y'all come to take care of the monster? No. And then they left. They went to the malt shop and they all got malts. Gee, gang. Let's go search for clues and treasure. Like, I'm not looking for treasure, Fred. <laughs> I'm looking for snacks. <laughs> all right, Shaggy. You go this way. I'll go home. What about the girls? Hey, it's me, Velma from Scooby-Doo. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Velma from Scooby-Doo. Hey, it's me, Daphne, also from Scooby-Doo. Na 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 na. Why does this guy kind of talk like this? Why, when people do a gravelly voice, why do they get so guttural with it? If you want to do a gravelly voice, you gotta talk like this. You don't gotta get a little bit guttural like this, otherwise you get a little bit unintelligible. I don't know what you're saying. I don't capitulate to raiders. I don't capitulate to raiders. What I say? I'm not capitulating. I refuse to capitulate. I, I refuse to capitulate to you. There's too many of them. I might have to capitulate. Fuck. I'm gonna die. This is so sad. I think the raiders are dead. I think there's bloat flies? But the raiders are dead. See, most of the raiders died. Good bit. What a bunch of fucking nerds. Nice try, nerds. Nice fucking try. Only one normal guy died. Only he died. That's fine. You can have de a little bit of death as a treat. Gravelly doesn't mean freak goblin. Yes, it does. Shut up. Hey there. Hey there, smooth skin. Hand over your fucking goods. Howdy there, smooth skin. Do you want a big Scooby-Doo sandwich? Of course you do. I have just the thing for you. I'm a voice machine, but it's never for any good impressions. I can't do, like, the popular impressions. Wow, what a... Great audience this is. Like, I do a shitty Christopher Walken. But I can do Zorak from Space Ghost. For the five people who know who that is. Michael Caine. Michael Caine's easy. You just said Michael Caine. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, son. It's me. Your father. Michael Caine. Do Snagglepuss. Do- Why- Why do you gotta say- Oh, wonderful to meet you. Alright, I'm in. Snagglepuss says fuck! Fuck! Could you imitate my dad but proud of me? <sighs> Now, son, I didn't think you could take that V8 engine out of that car and put a V6 engine in that car instead. And I didn't think you knew your way around a carburetor, but, uh, you fixed that golf cart up real nice, and I, uh, I'm proud of you. Michael Caine. Michael Caine's an easy one, because you just work it into, you say, my cocaine, and that's Michael Caine saying his own name. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Trump, you gotta make, like, a small mouth. I don't, I don't care about Trump, everybody, like, fucking Trump... What is this, 2017 Trump voice? Uh, Excuse me. Pardon me. Like, I, I don't give a shit about that one. I, I, don't even, I, I don't even try to do one. That's like the, I'm on the internet and I'm very funny. I love SNL. Small, very large, very large. I l huge, huge. It's a huge, it's a huge deal. Huge new deal. You, it's a huge, it's a huge. I don't, it's like, fuck it, I put no energy towards that. What am I, like, on Newgrounds.com? Very disrespectful. Very, very, like, <laughs> what was the list? Kane, Trump, Palpatine? Do it. I 
unlimited power. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, boy. I love sitting around in chairs. I can't do Mickey Mouse, but I can do the chocolate sailor voice from Billy and Mandy. Hello, Billy. Are you ready to enjoy a delicious chocolate sailor? Same, same voice. Uh, what was the other one? Goofy. I can't really do a goofy voice. What is it like the... Gorge. Now, a lot of people are asking, where's my fucking wife? <laughs> do Kermit the Frog. Hi-ho. Kermit the Frog here. I love having sex with my pig wife. That's like Ray Romano. I can do Ray Romano. Can't do Kermit. Can you do Mario? Mario. What is that? Mamma mia. The spaghetti. Like, no. I don't care about Mario. <laughs> can you do a Tigger voice? Mm -hmm. I love to... What is it? The wonderful thing about Tigger. I'm careful. Can't. I'm, I can, but I'm not going to do it. Because... There, there could be an incident. Like, the 1% chance that there's an incident, I'm not doing it. Gotta be care- I'm not- I can do it! Because I love poo, but I won't do it because there could be an incident. And I don't need there to be an incident here. Do Mo Sizzlack? Ah, uh, gee, Homer. You wanna drink from my bar? Gee, Homer. I see you're drinking Earl Grey tea, but you could be drinking this nice, delicious Duff beer. Do the na- I can do- I think I can do all of the Metal Metalocalypse, guys. Let me see. You know, I think uh, we should call death hamburger time. Yeah, I think if we started calling it that, people would think we're a lot cooler. Yeah, I think if we call death something else, uh, we will start stop thinking about it as death. Yeah, I also think that is good idea if we stop calling it death. You know, you guys are stupid. If we just call it that, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're all in favor of it. Yeah, I used to I used to in high school. I used to do the um, what is it the? I'm Doctor Rox. What is it the? I'm Doctor. I used to do that a lot in high school. That was one of the bits. That was one of the definite bits in high school. Can you do meat wad? No, I can't do a meat wad. Yeah, I can't. I can't do a meat wad. I can't make it like... I can't fill my mouth with enough air to do meat wad. I can't do any of the Aqua Teen. Hey! That's my freaking pool! That's a great Carl voice. 10 out of 10. Can't. I can't do any of the Aqua Teen guys. I haven't, like, tried... I can't do any, I can't do any of, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, H. John Benjamin. Can't do any of his voices. Cannot. Won't even try. Can't do Hank Hill. I do a shitty Homer. It's bad on purpose. I have very odd impressions. One of my favorite impressions that I don't do anymore used to be, uh, Lemon Grab from Adventure Time. And for obvious reasons, I don't do that one anymore. Mostly, it's just Justin Roiland voice. Like, it's been ruined. It's been tainted. This are unacceptable conditions because it's just it's the justin roiland voice so i don't do it anymore also it hurts what are the three voices screaming do brian griffin funny man hey uh peter looks like you're uh hanging out yeah gee brian i'm just having a good time you are uh, you mind if i have sex with your wife brian you're a dog don't do a good peter don't do a good brian but i can do it hey peter Hey, uh, Peter, your fucking, uh, your dog was over here the other day. He, uh, he wanted to have sex with my wife. Hey, uh, Peter, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? The boys in the boys in Procusco. I can do, I can do Patrick Warburton. That's, uh, that one's pretty easy. It's the one voice. Skeletor? God, y'all are just throwing requests at me. I'm not your silly little clown. I'm not gonna dance your tune anymore. I don't have to do anything that you tell me to do. I'm my own man with my own man pants, my own big man shirt that says I'm the big boy. Fuck you, I will not do what you've told me. I don't have to. I'm playing Fallout. Do Muscle Man, okay. <laughs> you know who else loves doing a Muscle Man impression? Me! I just like to do the scream for that one. I don't like, I don't like to do the actual voice. I just like to do the <laughs> Give us Zorak. Fuck you. I'm not your fucking clown. Does it anyway. Says he's not your funny little clown. Does it anyway. I don't know. I don't like doing impressions. I've talked about this on stream before. I don't like hate it, but I don't really like doing it. <laughs> Moltar? That's kind of like the... the <laughs> Just pull this lever here. He's got voice effects on, so it's a little bit harder, but it's more like... Hey, just gotta pull this lever here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How many impressions can you do? I don't know, because I don't keep track of it. I don't I don't train impressions or, or do anything on it, and I don't keep track of it really. 
because I don't really, I don't like doing it. Funny voices are fine, but it's like, then you're the funny voice guy, and then it's funny voice guy, do the funny voice. And then you just, you're like, okay, thanks, cool. Which is like, it's fine, but like, I don't want that to be like my bit. I got an illness, stop that. What illness do I have? Why am I a sick boy? I got an infection, stop that. Where's my fucking antibiotics? I need my medicine. I'm a big boy, give it to me. Oh, wrong medicine, fuck. Can you do the voice of Megamind? No, I don't know what that voice is. I don't remember it. If you do the funny voices, you'll get the 300 viewers your grandma thought you had. That was my mom. My mom fucking owned me on stream. I called my mom playing Fortnite. And I was like, hey mom, you have anything to say to 50 people? And my mom looked at me and said, well, looked at me. She she talked to me on the phone and she said, 50 people? I thought more people liked you. Broke my fucking heart. I <laughs> Don't you fucking worry. I gave her shit at Christmas for it. Your normal voice sounds like it's somewhere. It's not. This is just how I talk. I'm gonna shit my pants luxuriously. Bro, you can relax. You can do your real voice. Oh, thank you. Let me, let me, let me do real voice here. Well, thanks everybody for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for coming to the Daniel stream. So glad I can be myself with you. This is so nice. It really is quite pleasant to just use my real voice for once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your real voice sound like Mark? Shut the fuck up, please. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> please don't. I love Mr. Beast video. He's so funny. I love when he's like, today we're going to find out if somebody can survive a fall from a 12-story building. And if they do, they get a million dollars. I'm Mr. Beast, and today we're playing Real Life Dig Dug. You know what that means? I'm going to take this bike pump and fill you fat and full with air. And if you don't explode, I'll give you 10K. Mr. Beast, please stop. I'm begging you. These people can't survive that much air, Mr. Beast. Please stop. I'm going to fill them fat and full, and there's nothing they can do. Mr. Beast, please stop. They can't handle it. Me, when I go to the local diner and they're trying to drum up business and they're like, we got the Mr. Chicken Breast. I'm gonna hold back. Pretty good. We got that Pew Dye Pie. It's cherry. Pretty good. We've got a pair of market, market-based pliers. You can use them. Pretty good. Trying to start my own YouTuber restaurant. Anybody want to give me the startup cash? Pretty good. All of the waiters and waitresses are going to yell slurs at you. Going to be pretty good. We we don't call them waiters and waitresses. We call them commenters. They're going to yell slurs at you when you order food. You're going to love it. Every meal. Every meal you get a mental breakdown free of charge. Listen, if you come to my YouTuber restaurant and you don't have a mental breakdown, your meal's free. Hello, sir. Welcome to the restaurant. Would you like to be seated at the Gamer Bridge booth? Mmm. I love pork and beans in this game because I think of Weezer every time. I'ma do the things that I wanna do. I ain't got a lot to prove to you. Hello, I'd like to order the rare roast Mr. Beast. I'm... I'ma eat my candy with the pork and beans. Did you download the Weezer radio station? For copyright reasons, no. What would the Brendaniel Daniel burger look like? Um, you know, I was thinking about this a while ago. While in Arizona, I had a burger that was peanut butter and jelly and a burger with uh, spicy jelly and bacon. Uh, and it was so fucking good that I think that would be my signature burger. Peanut butter. Grape jelly that's spicy on the burger. It's it was it was a very fucking good burger. It doesn't sound like it'd be good. It was very fucking good. If you're ever in Phoenix or in the Arizona area, there's a little restaurant called uh like Rehab Burger Therapy. That PB and J burger is so fucking good. It's so fucking good. I I have not there are a couple of food items, right? Because of my like limited palate from when I was a white trash kid. Um, when I have good food, it sticks with me and I think about it quite often. There are like two things that always stick in my head. There used to be one thing and it was this sandwich I had in Colorado that was like a Korean barbecue sandwich with like a uh, au jus dipping sauce. Blew my fucking mind. I ate it almost every day for the seven days I was there. Uh, and this peanut butter and jelly burger. Those are the two. Bro, open up the door. Open the fucking door, Jake. Yeah, open the door, Jake. Dog. God, so fucking scary. And I need to drink water, too. Fuck me. I don't think I got any. I got dirty water. Okay, fine. He'll open the door for me. What a good boy. What a good boy. Give him a kiss. What a good boy. Oh, God, I see the nightmare. Yep, I got a... Yep, cool. That's fine. That's valid. You doing survival? Yep. And that's the price I have to pay. I gotta go all the way back to the last time I slept in a bed. That's the price I fucking have to pay. 
That was a while back, wasn't it? Whoops. All right, let's fucking try this again. I love survival mode. I love survival mode. I love survival mode. And I'm in the fucking corner and people are looking at me like, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> He's trying to enjoy Fallout 4. What an idiot. So far, I have devoured 32 Slim Jims and I'm still hungry. Why not simply take the 32 Slim Jims, tape them together, and then you get a fat gym? I... <laughs> I don't eat Slim Jims. I eat wide gyms. Love me a wide gym. Huge fan, in fact. Give me the jumbo gym. I... <laughs> El Gigante gym. Buy your gyms in bulk. Do you buy your gyms in bulk? Well, you fucking better. I'm gonna start breaking your knees. I'm so fucking sorry. I accidentally scrolled through TikTok on my little break there. You know what's in my fucking head again in the year of our Lord 2023? The fucking walkie slosh. Did you wash your hands? Yes, I washed my hands. Yes, I'm a good little boy. Yes, I use soap. Yes, I put on my gamer gloves, my gamer jorts, my gamer jeans, my game, my gamer de 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 denim jacket. Listen, all I like to do is I like to plow the land, you know. I like to step outside and I like to look at my field and say, damn, well, that's a nice field. And some people say, maybe you need to do a little bit more to be a successful farmer. But I say... Oh, oh, no, I don't need that. All you got to do is you got to step outside. You got to look upon your field, look upon your crops and say, damn, those are some nice crops. And they grow just like that. That's how it works. I know I was born in the farmland. That's how it works. And eh, that's barely an upgrade, really. But all right. Oh, man, you're telling me somebody boiled this leather? Jeesh. What was that noise? I died. Pain, misery, sorrow, suffering. Pain, misery, sorrow, suffering. You know this anime coming out this season where this guy gets reincarnated as a schoolgirl's dog? Yeah, I don't care. I that, that all I feel nothing. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to feel anything personally, uh, but I feel nothing. I uh, you ever you ever filled with such crippling emptiness? Uh, that's me whenever I talk about anime on Twitch.tv. <laughs> Thank you.